Good morning. Today I'm going to go over this worksheet, Physical and Chemical Changes Examples. So <clears throat> we have two things we're talking about, physical changes here and chemical changes here. Now it gives a description, a pretty good description for each of those, but generally a physical change, we're not changing the substance. A good example is if I boil water. Well, the water was liquid. I boiled it so it became water vapor, but it's still water. I haven't, I haven't changed what it actually is. That's a physical change. Another example would be crushing something up or splitting wood. If I split wood, it's still wood. I haven't changed anything about it. I've just altered its form a little bit. Now with chemical changes, it's a little bit more of a substantial change. The material that I started with is going to be chemically different than what I've ended with. And combustion or burning is a good example of this. If I take this match and I burn it, well now I've converted some of that wood material, that cellulose, into soot, which might just be pure carbon. So it's actually gone through a chemical change. The stuff that I started is chemically different from what I've ended with. And then it gives a couple more examples down here at the bottom where we had the chopping wood was the physical. But if I have metal that starts to rust, that's going through some oxidation process, that is a chemical change. It is now chemically different after the process has taken place. So what you're going to do um, in my video, so you have, to, you have to watch the video in order to do this worksheet. I'm gonna go through six quick examples. So quick, um, six quick changes. You're gonna tell me what type of change it was. Was it physical or was it chemical? And then what are your observations or evidence that tell you that? And I would definitely look here to give you help with that. So write down physical or chemical. And for your observations or evidence, you can use stuff from this, this description here. You can also look stuff up online. That's totally fine. They'll give you descriptions of each that you might notice when you're seeing each one of my quick reactions. All right. Hope this helps. Thanks.